the Bruins, and he will face off against 19-year-old Matt Patra, another Toronto area boy who's been a surprise in his Bruins lineup. Boston coming in with a record of 13-1-2. And, and he did not catch Johansson leading in. Here comes Kucherov. Kucherov up, shoots, stopped by Swayman as he got him with the glove and snaps that one. Bruins control the puck off the draw. They got a shot away and went wide again. This one's to center, and here they come up the ice, trying to get a shot away as Mott. They score! On the rebound! Tanner Janot! The Boston Bruins are looking at the replay. You know they are because their goaltender is upset. But again, driving right down the middle is Mott. Swayman makes the save, but it's Tanner Janot who's not going to be denied here. Mott gets taken out of the play. Swayman makes the save, but there's no argument here that I can see. There's no interference on the goaltender because McAvoy is all over Mott pushing him, and Janot has the presence of mind to follow him up. The goaltender does not have the puck, and Janot shovels it into the net from the blue paint. That's a heck of a goal, and this line is really starting to get some. That is Matt Patra, and I'm starting to see why this yeah. kid has stayed in the lineup. He was a big yeah. surprise. Out of camp, that's a heck of a response shift right there. Yeah, I, I watch. There's a chance and a save by Swayman on Sorelli. And now it's a break. Zaka in, hits the post. Trying to do a toll drag move, but now things have really opened up. Swayman's been busy. 12 shots already for the Lightning. 12 to 6 on the shot clock. Here's a chance for Poster now. They score with a pass to Saka. Pasternak to Saka. Tie game. Brilliant chance that Boston has created for themselves. Along the wall, getting in on the forecheck, and then the Lightning overloading too much. And what a play that is. How many people would make that play? You get yourself to the front of the net, and you're a goal to get score. Look at Pasternak. Pasternak. Scores 40, 50 goals on a regular basis. It seems like he's one of the most feared shooters in the league. And that's a carryover from last season. Oh, that's a big hit right there. Charlie McAvoy just laid out Tanner Janot. Lorai going to the penalty box. Clearing attempt doesn't happen. There's a one-timer from Stamkos. And what a stop by Swayman with the glove. Boston Bruins, on the other hand, have 31 points, so significantly lower from the Bruins. Pasternak turns, shoots, and Johansson makes the save just as a penalty is called. And this that first period was indicative of those two measurements. Very good period indeed. Let's see what adjustments both teams make as we drop the puck here in the second period. Line and wide open is Pasternak, and he couldn't get a shot away. Back to the line, Lindholm dishes. Into the corner, Pasternak shoots, rebound! Oh, Johansson comes across and makes the save! Big time chances at either end, and this is still a tie game, 1-1. One, one. We'll give you almost anything else, but not that guy. It's now a five on four. Point, gathers it, leaves it for Stamkos. Stamkos up top to Sergachev. There's the shot, tip, scores! Power play goal! Lightning take the lead on a goal by Nick Paul! It's nothing fancy. It's win the faceoff, get it under control, get net front presence and shoot the puck. Sergachev does that. Nick Paul is there. He does it before there's any coverage for Paul. That was, I think, a double deflection. I think Brayton Point got a piece of that one, too. But that's the deflection. That's a redirection. I think that initial shot probably was going to go wide. Yeah. And Paul will take this face off. Right now, Paul has the go-ahead goal as we begin the third period here. First of four regular season meetings between Tampa Bay and Boston. Drops it off to Pasternak. He shoots, and Johansson got a piece of that on a great release from David Pasternak. At the line. Held by McAvoy. Here's Pasternak again. Scores! David Pasternak ties the game. And from long range at that.
with traffic in front. Let's see what the goaltender sees. Pasternak will be up and to your right. There's 88. He loops up high. Traffic, I don't know, did that go off the Han and go off anybody? I couldn't tell from here. But he's got time and room, and that's a goal scorer's goal. And you know what? That got through everybody. I think the Han screened Johansson, so we couldn't pick up on it. Knocked back out by the Bruins. Turned back up ice by Beecher. Beecher takes it wide. Try to look back towards the line, and it's poked in there by Carlo. And now the Bruins have it again. Beecher shoots, scores! And the Boston Bruins have turned this whole thing around with two quick ones. The Lightning have four guys headed on the way out. See, Perbix is headed on the way out. They think they're going to win that battle. Now it's really a mini two-on-one. Victor Hedman has to come out and challenge. It's the right idea. I think this puck gets deflected. The shot by Beecher, even as Perbix backchecks and gets a stick on the puck. There still is enough follow-through, and I think that changed it up for the goaltender, Johansson. In comes Janot to help out. Comes free, and Hedman bats it back in. Around the edge, Perbix. Sorelli in behind the Boston net. Anthony Sorelli out in front for Watson! Scores! Austin Watson buries it and ties the game again. You get your one chance, you got to put it in. Sorelli did a nice job using the net. Looks like Wayne Gretzky back 25 years ago. He waits and waits. Who's going to get open? Boston plays it the way every team does. You get a defenseman on either side of the post, and Watson finds a soft area just off the edge of the faceoff circle. Anthony Sorelli trying to feed it out in front for Acemont. Never got there. Bruins work it back up. It is Van Riemsdyk dumps it in. Under four minutes to play. Out in front. Scores! It is Charlie Coyle who snapped a one-timer home and gives the Bruins the lead again. They'll get the puck in deep to watch the play along the wall. Sergachev is on a one-on-one. -on -one. They move it along the wall. Second guy comes in along the backside. That's JVR. And he just throws it out in front. You got a late guy, the high guy. Uh, defensively is Coyle. He's supposed to remain high. And there's nobody in the same zip code. Excellent heads-up work by JVR. Hold pass. Disrupted. Saka can't clear it. It stays in. It's still on side. Hegel to Kutra. What a finish here. Seven seconds. Center the cross. Oh, they score! They've tied the game! Steven Stamkos with four seconds to go! So many great plays here. I know the Bruins are going to look at the replay to see if Victor Hedman held the puck in. I think he did. It is a good goal for Steven Stamkos, and it's tied up 4-4, and this has been easily the best game so far this season, and we're going to get some more of it. It is going to be three-on-three three Chevy overtime. Even though it's at center ice, that's how big it is. They wanted a fair face-off. They might have let it go in the course of a regular game, but not now. And they've got the puck. Sergeyev. Try to jam one towards the net. It will stop. Here's Hedman. Hedman can't get a shot away. Well, the puck was alive there for a second. Point wanted to pass it to Kucherov at the net. It flipped up. Then for Hedy, too. Pass to the middle. Hagel in. Shoots. Scores! Brandon Hagel with a lightning strike in overtime. Bolts win it. At the critical time, and Victor Hedman, who's as good as it gets at getting everybody's attention until those guys jump off the bench. And then Brandon Hagel, who was so good on breakaway. Watch this. That little stutter, just that little stutter move, and boom, he finds the hole, and he's not too fired up, is he? What a game this was. A huge victory for the Lightning. It's been a long time. Their last win at 3-on-3 three three was last December. And Hagel makes no mistake.
The Lightning come back twice in the third period, including a tying goal in the dying seconds, and they beat the Boston Bruins, and I don't know about you.